Okay, next time you get a screen, let me know so I can fold. Justin Bottomo is a well-oiled bluff machine. You put the best hand in, shreds it to pieces. Somebody's on fire. That's why King 4 is better than 4-3. Poker's easy. Is it 13? Action folds on over to Justin Bonomo, makes the call with ace queen. Queen, queen, deuce, two hearts, interesting flop. Things could get dicey for Kata. He's got a flush draw, Bonomo, three of a kind. Bonomo checks, Kata fires 2,000. Bonomo could slow play this, but with two hearts out there, he may try to make Joe pay to draw another card. Bonomo check raises to 6,500. It's a tough call for Joe Cat in this spot. The board is paired already. But he does make it. The turn, nine of spades. That spade isn't a scary card for Bonomo. It doesn't complete any draws, and he definitely doesn't want to give away a free card at this point. Justin leads out this time, betting 13,000. Kata again looking pretty reluctant to give up his hand. That was a nearly pot sized bet from Justin. Kata's definitely not getting the right odds to call, especially because he's not drawing to the nuts and he could be drawing dead already. There's the fold. Bonomo picks up a nice sized pot. Ace queen again for Bonomo. Calls. Unlucky for Danny, Bonomo's woken up with a dominating ace. Three to the flop. King 10 8, a pair of spades. Everyone's missed. Justin's got the best hand with the biggest ace. He checks over to Danny, who checks as well. Nadia's in position to bluff at this if she wants to. She does not. Four clubs on the turn, giving Nadia a pair. That four did hit Nadia, but the way the pre-flop action went, Justin's still likely to think his ace-queen is good. And he fires 4,000. Danny folds. Nadia wanted to play 3-4. Now she's got a pair. We know she could win this hand if she can pull the trigger. It's a pretty risky proposition on this type of board. And so she just calls. She thinks her fours might be good, and she's right. The river. Ace of clubs, a bad card for Nadia. Pretty unlucky that Justin hit one of his outs on the river. Nadia was the favorite going into that last card. He bets 10,000. Nadia's trying to get a read on Justin. You're not going to get it from looking at him. You have to look at the way he played the hand. I don't know. I just have a feeling you have nothing. <laughs> you have to think about what kind of nothing could Justin have called a raise pre-flop with that doesn't beat a pair of fours. If anything, Justin's the kind of player who can give off body language to make you think he has nothing. She calls. I remember the ace. He doesn't look too proud of spiking that ace on the river. He might be showing that for Nadia's benefit, but he's still stacking the chips. Bonomo raises under the gun to 1,400. Jack-10 suited for Joe Cata. It's a hand that plays very well in position. Makes the call. Especially when you're deep stacked. Unless the guy to your left has pocket queens like Danny does. Both these hands are in big trouble to Danny's pocket queens. He raises to 6,600. Loose cannon folds. Now action back on Justin, the original razor. It's tough to lay down ace queen in this spot. Not a lot of hands you're behind to. Justin calls. Now with Jack-10 suited in position, Joe may be thinking he's getting the right odds. He makes the call as well. Five ace king, two hearts on the flop. Horrible flop for two queens. The only two cards you don't want to see, they're both there. Danny checks over to Justin, who now has the best hand. Bonomo's out flop, Danny. 
This is the type of flop you want to see with Ace Queen. Bet's 13,000. That gets catted a frustratingly fold. Danny calls. Even with two overs, Danny's not ready to let this one go yet. Jack on the turn. Both players now have a pair and a gut shot. Bonomo still has top pair. Check by Danny. Justin's deciding whether or not he can get value from this hand. He checks as well. Six of diamonds on the river. Danny can't be in love with his queens anymore. Eli E checks. And Justin checks. Two queens. You said two queens? And Bonomo wins a pot of almost 47 grand. Thanks. Okay, next time you get ace queen, let me know so I can fold. Because <laughs> the flop's going to come queen, queen, ace or something. I'm just always fold when I put money in the pot. Then you don't oh, have to worry that, about oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. It's easy like that. Danny Alai, King Jack raises to fifteen hundred. Nadia a seven folds. Discipline fold from Nadia. Big slick for Justin. Raise. Bonomo raises to five thousand. With guys like Bonomo, Mercier, Danny at the table, the three bet doesn't always mean a huge hand. What Danny doesn't know is, in this case, he is dominated. Action is back on Danny. And calls. Bonham is perfectly capable of three betting light. Danny wants to see a flop. Which is nine, queen, ten. Danny checks. What's domination matter when you know you're going to flop the joint? Danny's flopped a straight. Bonomo checks. Three of diamonds on the turn. Danny's hand is no longer the nuts, but if Bonomo had diamonds, he probably would have betted on the flop. Danny checks. And Justin checks. Bonomo still just got ace-king. Eight of clubs on the river. There's a four card straight out there now. Danny should bet this hand if he wants to try to get any value at all. It's a good card if it makes your opponent a costly second best hand, but in this case, it'll probably just be an action killer. Danny bets 8,200, and Bonomo folds. Danny flops a straight, but got less value out of it than grocery shopping at 7-Eleven. <laughs> new hand, new possibilities. Jack 10, off suit. Nadia raises to 1,400. No passive play from Nadia. She's taking matters into her own hands. Justin calls with a suited one gapper. Barry folds. So does Mercier. So does Joe. And Nadia's got Justin dominated going into this flop. 7 10 King. Both hit middle pair. That's right. Justin's flop middle pair against the player is proven to be fairly aggressive. She leads out 2100. Justin calls quickly. I'm sure Nadia would have rather Justin just fold there. The turn, nine of spades. Justin's picked up a monster draw. It's unlikely he'll fold any reasonable size bet. Maybe not even an unreasonable one. 5,100 is Nadia's bet. Open-ended straight flush draw. Bonomo calls. A lot of players would have raised there. Justin wants to peel off one last card. Which is the queen of clubs completing Nadia's straight. Nadia's got a straight, but it's not the nut straight. Let's we'll see how much she bets here. She doesn't. She checks. Interesting move from the amateur. Justin's only got a pair of tens, and he's missed all of his draws. He fires 14-5. Nadia's taking a moment. Bonomo has fired an overbet more than the size of the pot. There is a bigger straight out there, but I can't imagine Nadia would fold. Come on, Len. Nadia is all in. That's an eye opener for Justin. It's a look of genuine surprise from Justin. And a fold. Loose cannons aren't supposed to do that, by the way. I don't know if they told you in the rules. I was, I was gonna, <laughs> I was like actually thinking like that would be so awesome if she, if she check shoved. 
That's not what I was thinking, actually. <laughs> Back to the action. Bonomo raises, ace queen, ace six suited for Jason. Jason's reaching for chips. We know he has the highest three bet percentage at the table. And there he goes again, racing to 4,700. Cata folds. Back on over to Bonomo. Justin calls. Bonomo's not falling for any of Mercier's nonsense. Two to the flop. Eight jack, nine, two diamonds. Jason's flopped a flush draw. He's behind, but he's about a coin flip to end up the winner. Jason checks. Maybe some pot control from Jason. He doesn't have a made hand yet. Justin bets 6,500. Jason three bets regularly. Justin knows against Jason's range. Ace queen is good a fair percentage of the time. Jason calls. The turn, nine of clubs. Still nothing but an ace high for both players. Mercier checks. Bonomo checks. Four spades on the river. It's a brick. Let's see if Jason wants to try to take this pot away. A big bet may get it done. Jason does not fire, he checks. Justin checks. Ace high. How big? Not big enough. Board. Ace queen. <laughs> Again. Bonomo wins a pot of more than 23,000. Yeah, I keep getting the same hands. I've had king 10 multiple times. I've had king three like six times. You won every time with ace queen, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know. How can you say that? Justin Bonomo, ace queen. He's seen that a lot this week. Yup, and it's worked out well for him so far. He raises to 1,400. Queen Jack for Barry Greenstein. An under the gun raise usually represents strength. Barry folds. Jason Mercier, pocket sixes. Calls. Joe Cata folds on the button. Danny's out. So too is our loose cannon. Jason's gonna have the slight lead going into this flop. Two of the young guns on the felt. Deuce Jack nine. Justin had the pre-flop lead. Fires 3,500. Standard continuation bet. And that gets Jason to fold. ABC poker right there. Nadia first to act. King nine off suit. Folds. Justin Bonomo. 10-9 suited, a raise to 1,400. Action folds around to Joe Cata. Pocket sixes in the small blind. Makes the call. Danny's in as well. Do you have some big chips over there, Joe? Okay, yeah, thanks. Joe's still got at least three 25K chips in front of him. Queen, Trey, eight. Joe checks. Danny checks. Bonomo was the original razor. Now with a gut shot straight draw. Fires 3,500. Joe folds. Danny's out. Man, poker's easy. Well, yeah, you must have had ace-queen again. Nadia thinks Justin has ace-queen every hand. Did you? Not this hand, but I did have it recently. All right. What's going on here? Ace-queen. Raised to 1,400. Action folds around to the loose cannon. We know Nadia knows what he has. She's out. Normally I hate showing, but that's just kind of spooky. Just, when you raised it, I was like, do you have ace-queen again? Pretty much every hand. You should have just shoved all in if you thought he had ace-queen. He's not going to call you. You don't know me very well, sir. I can't. I can't even shove all in. Jason Mercier raised to 1,400. Justin, he makes the call. Suited one gappers are considered to be just as strong as suited connectors. In fact, they're all called suited connectors. Trey six queen, two clubs. Bonomo checks with a gut shot straight draw and a flush draw. Mercier fires 2100. Continuation bet. Justin's trying to decide if he wants to call and play a smaller pot or if he wants to check raise. Since he doesn't have a made hand, he doesn't want to get raised again. 
How about a raise to 7,000? Check raise semi bluff. It works. No, I did not have ace queen. <laughs> Getting paranoid over here. Justin Bonomo earlier said, poker's easy. Has been for him tonight. 5 4 suited. Raises to 1400. Action folds around to Jason Mercier. Jack 10 off suit. Earlier in the week, Jason had built a little chip castle. Looks like his kingdom has fallen on hard times. Jason raises to 4,700. Action folds around to Nadia, pocket nines. You know, we haven't seen Nadia play any medium pocket pairs. Now she's facing a three bet. There's no shame in folding. How much? 4,700. Nadia is not getting great immediate odds, but her hand is strong enough that she can play it at its own value. You don't always have to flop a set to win with 9-9. Nine, nine. Sometimes nines are just good. Nadia calls. She's sticking around. And in this case, she's ahead. Justin makes the call as well. 4-5 suited is the kind of hand you want to play against multiple opponents. It's how you win more money. 3-10-4, two hearts. Nadia had the best hand going in, but she's been outflopped. She checks. Justin Bonomo's got a pair of fours. Remember, he was the pre-flop raiser. Jason Mercier's got top pair with tens. Bonomo bets 9,000. Bonomo leads at this flop because he thinks he has the best hand a lot of the time. Jason with top pair. Calls. So now back to the loose cannon. She folds. It's a good fold the way the action went. You're no good a lot of the time. And even when you are, you're up against draws. Six of spades on the turn. Justin's turned an open ender to go with this pair. We saw Justin bet after the flop. Here he checks. He doesn't want to risk being raised if he fires again. Mercier checks as well. Off to the river, deuce of spades, completing Justin straight. Justin's looking for a value bet. Trying to determine how strong Jason's hand is, how much he will call. Bonomo fires 24,000. And the way that this action went, his straight should be well disguised. Raise pre-flop, bet the flop. Be tough for Jason to put him on a straight. But at this point, the only thing that Jack-10 can beat is a bluff. So Jason's trying to figure out, is this a value bet or is it a bluff? And Mercier folds. Good fold. Bonomo adds to his impressive chip stack. Jason determines that Justin is just not bluffing often enough in that spot, and Justin can't get paid off on his value bet. Now the lights in the background are flashing. Is that what they do when someone bluffs someone out of the pot? <laughs> Jason Mercier, queen eight suited. Comes out firing to 1400. Jack nine suited for Justin Bonomo. And these two will tango yet again. Replay. These guys have got very similar hands. As you can see, they're evenly matched. Ace, Jack four, two diamonds. This is an action flop. Bonomo checks with middle pair and a flush draw. Strong hand, but he's checking to the razor. Jason's flopped the second nut flush draw. Mercier bets 2,100. Bonomo quickly calls. Justin just called because he thinks he might have the best hand. He doesn't want to chase Jason out, especially since he has a high chance of improving. The turn, three of spades. Bonomo checks again. And Mercier checks. That card missed them both. They're checking for pot control. Nine on the river. Justin's now made two pair. Fire 6,000. And that gets Mercier to fold. 
Mercer's diamonds on that hand turned out to be more like cubic zirconia. <laughs> Nadia folds. Justin Bonomo, pocket tens, raised to 1400. Barry folds. King eight suited for Jason Mercier. Looks like he's not gonna be letting go of this big blind very easily. Mercier re-raises to 4,700. He knows Justin's opening range on the button is very wide, but by three betting, he takes control of this pot and can be the aggressor post-flop. Bonomo's not going anywhere. Calls with his pocket tens. There are a lot of different flops Jason can bet now and get Justin off his hand. Eight, a seven, two spades. Jason was the aggressor, and now he's flopped a pair. Comes out firing, 5,200. Jason's been three betting enough that Bonomo may not believe he has an ace. That would make his two tens best. Bonomo calls. A lot of times if you call a continuation bet on the flop, your opponent will just shut down. The turn, six of hearts. Let's see if Jason does shut down or keeps firing. He shuts down. Bonomo checks two. Both playing cautiously now. Three of spades on the river. The spade would complete a flush. Right now, Jason has to decide if there's any value in betting his pair of eights. He checks, and Justin checks. Eight. They had very similar hands. Both have the same idea. No value to bet the river. Another nice pot for Bonomo. Somebody's on fire. And he didn't even need ace queen to ignite. Now Nadia. On the button with a pocket pair. Nadia pleaded the fifth. Let's see if she gears down or keeps this bus moving above 55 miles an hour. She revs ahead, raising to 1,400. Raise. A re-raise announced by Justin Bonomo to 5,000. Justin's trying to isolate Nadia. Barry with 10-9 suited. Barry's probably on to the fact that Justin is trying to isolate the loose cannon. He has a way of sniffing out weakness. 10-9 suited, suited connector is a pretty powerful hand if played properly. Barry re-raises to 16,000. Barry makes a power move with it. Nadia's being railroaded a bit here. 90% of players would fold this hand. The other 10% would usually be making a mistake. She does have the best hand right now. She's in the 90%. Now Justin has a decision to make. Nobody likes to give up 5,000 when they think someone's making a play at them. With Nadia, you can be pretty sure she wasn't making a move, but with Barry, not so much. Justin is looking at Barry's stack to see if he has the right implied odds of the call. What he doesn't know is that he has Barry dominated. And Justin folds. And he doesn't look very happy about it. Barry takes down the first pot. King, queen suited. Pretty strong hand, even from first position. Raises to 1,400. Danny Alai, small pocket pair. Makes the call. Nadia folds. Pocket pair for Justin Bonomo calls. Barry calls as well. Ace five suited for Jason Mercier, a five person party. Why not, says Jason. Nadia decides to sit this one out, let the pros cannibalize each other for a change. First flop of the evening. Eight do six. Barry checks. Jason checks. Joe checks. Danny may like his hand with a pair on this board. Danny comes out firing 4,400. 4, if Danny likes his hand, Justin should like his a bit more. Only one overcard out there for him. Justin calls. Barry folds. Jason folds. And Joe folds. Bonomo is ahead. So from five on the flop, down to just two on the turn. Ace of clubs. Now, of course, Danny's wondering if his threes are good, but more importantly, he's wondering if Justin will fold to another bet. Danny checks. Justin checks. Justin checks behind. He might like his hand, but he doesn't want to get raised. Six of spades on the river. Danny checks, Justin checks. Threes. 
And Justin takes down a pot. Nice. Danny appreciates a polite poker player. Justin may have beat him in a pot, but at least he said thank you. <laughs> That's Danny's specialty. Justin's specialty this week has been raking in pots. He has been super aggressive. Really enjoyed watching him play. We've been watching his stack get higher and higher every day. Joe Cassidy, first to act. Four, four. That'd be a pair of fours. Boxes. And Joe raising to 1,300. 1,300. Danny folds the Brunson. 8-6 suited for the loose cannon, Nadia Magnus. Looks like she's going to play. Forget what I said about protecting her stack. This girl <laughs> wants to gamble up. She calls, and big slick for Justin Bonomo. Looks like Justin's contemplating a re-raise. There it is to 6,000. Greenstein folds. Mercier folds. Joe's not getting very good odds to call, barely two to one. Joe's primarily a limit player where it's harder to get bad odds to call with a pair pre-flop. He does call. Remember, it is pot limit pre-flop, then no limit after the flop. Nadia calls. The loose cannon makes a very loose call. 987. Pretty good flop for Nadia. Flops a pair and a straight draw, open-ended. It goes check, check over to Bonomo. Justin checks two. Nadia could have bet the flop, but with Justin three betting, he could easily have an over pair. Three on the turn. Joe still just got a pair of fours. Check. He checks. Nadia checks. Nadia checks the best hand again. And Bonomo checks. Queen of Hearts on the river. Joe checks. Nadia checks. This board's been checked to Bonomo three times now. And Justin comes out firing this time, 14,000. Justin knows he can get a lot of smaller pairs to fold when some paint hits the river because he re-raised before the flop. Cassidy folds. Do you have queen again? Justin throughout the week has been getting ace-queen dealt to him. And winning with it. I think you do. Oops. And Nadia sloppily folds. Very nice hand from Bonomo. He got two opponents to lay down better hands. Do you have ace-queen again? Can't say what I had that hand. Right neighborhood, Nadia, wrong house. Yeah. Blind versus blind, 10-5 suited for Nadia. Calls. I'm calling if you're raising. I don't think your intimidation tactics are going to work on Justin Bonomo. But they do. He just checks. Uh, Chris, I think he's probably just going to check anyway. I knew that. Deuce, king, eight. Bonomo hits top pair. Nadia doesn't have much of anything. She's got a 10 high. But she's firing 500. I think Nadia may be off her game a little bit. She just tried to bluff Justin Bonomo with one of the smallest bets we've ever seen on this show. Justin just calls. Five of spades on the turn. Nadia's picked up a pair. We'll see if she gets herself into some trouble now that she actually has something. She fires 1,200. That size bet isn't going to get Justin the full top pair. If anything, it might elicit a raise. Nope, just a call. Justin's content to let Nadia do the betting for him. The river, nine of diamonds. Nadia checks. Slowing down just a little bit here. Bonomo fires 3,000. Nadia's just not wanting to believe Justin could have a bigger piece of this than she does. Like so curious what you have. More silent treatment from Bonomo. This time he's even averted his gaze. If she wants to get a read on him, she should take note of the fact that he called her twice and then bet the river. This is usually an indication of a strong hand. Ah, uh, one more time. Nadia calls. Okay. I shouldn't play against you. You always seem to suck out on me. I'm not sure flopping top pair with the best hand is considered a suck out just yet. 
Nice hand, ace-queen suited. If he's steam-raising this time, he's doing it with a premium hand. Raises to 1,500. Queen-10 suited for the loose cannon and the small blind. Getting a discount. Makes the call. Justin Bonomo, also suited, also calls. Danny's got both these players dominated. Justin Spades and Nadia's queen. The flop. Four tray seven. Everyone's missed. Danny's got the best hand with ace high. Nadia checks. Gut shot straight draw for Justin, who bets 4,000. It's an odd spot for Justin to lead out, but it's the right kind of board to do it. It's not likely to connect with either Danny's raising range or Nadia's calling range. Danny folds. And Nadia folds. Bottomo bluffs another one. He's been a bluffing machine this week. Action is folded on over to Nadia. Gets out of the way. King nine suited for Justin, a raise to 1,400. Bottomo still trying to take control of yet another pot tonight. Barry folds. Jason ace jack. Calls. Joe Cassidy, ace three suited. Makes it three to the flop. Some players would re-raise ace jack, but Jason is out of position. 10, seven, eight, all diamonds. Mercier checks. Cassidy checks. Bottomos flopped the second nut flush with a straight flush redraw. And bets 4,000. Jason's also flopped a straight flush draw, but we see Justin has the nine he'd need. Mercier calls. Justin's trying to build a pot, and his reputation for playing aggressively with marginal hands will only help him in these types of situations. Cassidy folds. So we're down to two on the turn, which is the ace of clubs. This is a terrible card for Jason. He's been drawing dead since the flop. Now his hand's improved. Mercier checks. Bonomo bets 11,000. Still building this pot. For Jason, top pair and a strong draw is only gonna get him to commit more money to this pot, even though we know he has no redraw. Mercier calls. Bonomo's got to be loving this. Deuce of hearts on the river. Jason hasn't improved. Check. Mercier checks. He'd probably be very happy to have Justin just check behind for a cheap showdown. No such luck. Justin reaching for value betting chips. How about $30,000 worth? It's a pot size bet. Jason's trying to figure out if this is a bluff or a value bet. Jason knows at this point he can't beat any hand Justin would be value betting. So he has to figure out how often Justin would be bluffing in this spot. Very tough spot. Come on. Jason Mercier all in. Really? Make no mistake, despite the fact that he has top hair, this is a straight bluff from Jason Mercier. Once he saw that $30,000 bet, he's a pretty good idea Justin's value betting. A check raise in the spot is very strong. He thinks that by making this bet, he can get Justin to lay down almost any hand that isn't the nuts. This is a sick bluff by Jason. He's giving Justin really good odds to make the call, which makes Jason's hand look even stronger. He just happened to run to the top of Justin's range. I guess he have the ace of diamonds. What's the other card? Yeah, I call. Vase check. Nice hand. Bonomo wins a pot of nearly 230,000. That's uh, kind of a good hand that you have there. Nadia on the button folds. Justin Bonomo limps in. Jack four off suit for Barry. Looks like he might be getting a little frisky with his big blind. Oh, I got the four, sorry. Yeah, 18 total, right? I thought I was under raising. Barry's trying to take control of this pot. Call. Justin calls. Got blind versus blind. Nine jack, eight, two diamonds. Top pair for Barry. 
Bonomo checks. Barry fires 2,500. Bonomo knows Barry will continuation bet with just about any two cards. In this case, Barry does have top pair. Justin comes over the top to 8,000. Bottom has chosen a dicey moment to try to make a play with this check raise. Barry knows that Justin knows he's likely to fire with anything. And Barry calls. He's hiding it well, but Justin did not want to see a call there. Five of spades on the turn, giving Bonomo a gut shot straight draw. After Barry called his check raise so quickly, he's probably contemplating whether or not he wants to fire another blank. No fire. Bonomo checks. And Barry checks. Six of clubs, so Bonomo gets a piece of it. That pair probably won't change anything for Justin. He has some showdown value at this point, but not very much. Goes check, check, and Barry takes it down. Even a river bluff probably wouldn't have chased Barry out. Monster hands. Yeah. Greenstein wins a pot of more than 20 grand. Ace Jack. Thought he had a blank card at first. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Raises to 1,500. Nadia folds. Justin Bonomo, Jack three suited. The wheels are turning. What's well, pot? We're pot limit before the flop. He's essentially asking, how much can I raise? Justin raises to 5,300. Bonomo's three betting out of position, clearly trying to make a play. Clear to us, at least. Danny calls. Danny's got Justin dominated heading into this flop. Which is six queen jack. Both players have flopped a jack. Danny's got Justin in jail for the moment. Bonomo has checked on over to Danny Alai. Justin gave up the lead. He flopped a marginal hand and now wants to see the turn as cheaply as possible. Danny fires 7,200. Poker things change quite a bit. A lot of times you want to see another card and reevaluate. Justin calls. Danny's got the best hand. It may be tough for him to know it, given the three-bet preflop. Ten of spades on the turn. I don't think Justin wanted to see that card. It's likely to have connected with a lot of hands in Danny's range. Bonomo checks. See if Danny fires. He doesn't. Eight of spades on the river. Justin probably doesn't love his hand at this point. He's contemplating a bet. It would be for bluffing purposes only. And there he goes, betting 20,000. Sizable bluff. Justin's trying to get Danny to fold a marginal showdown hand. In this case, Danny's hand is marginal. He has second pair. There's a lot out there that beats him, so it is a scary bet. Justin's made the right read on Danny's hand, but we'll have to see if the bet is the right amount to make him fold. And a lie e folds. And the rich gets richer. Justin Bonomo is a well-oiled bluff machine. You put the best hand in, shreds it to pieces. Justin Bonomo raises to 1,400. Justin Bonomo with a very liberal interpretation of suited connectors. Cassidy, king-10 offsuit, folds. Pretty tight fold, respecting Justin's under-the-gun raise. Ace-queen. I don't think this hand's going anywhere for Danny Alai. Maybe Joe was respecting the under-the-gun raise. Maybe he knew Danny was going to wake up with ace-queen. <laughs> Danny calls. Nadia folds. And so we're down to two on the flop. These guys just can't seem to stay out of each other's way. Jack deuce five, two spades. Look at that. Danny whiffs. And checks. Justin's still behind, but he's the favorite to make the best hand with a gut shot and a flush draw. Bonomo bets 3,000. And Eli E folds to Bonomo again. Nice little semi bluff from Justin. And he continues to add more cash to his stack. 
Those lights go off every time I bluff Danny. Now, to be fair, it was only a semi-bluff this time. Joe Cassidy, small pocket pair in the small blind. Calls. Danny, queen seven. Folds. Justin's raised with jack ten from the cutoff. I don't know if you've heard, Chris, but the cutoff is the new button. I'll write that down in my rule book. King nine tray, two hearts. Justin's flopped a gut shot. Cassidy checks on over to Bonomo, who fires 3,000. Bonomo just does not stop betting. Cassidy's got the best hand with two fives. Cassidy calls. He's going to see at least one more card. The turn, jack of clubs. Check by Cassidy. Justin's now ahead with a pair of jacks. He checks. Queen on the river. Bonomo has rivered his straight. He's got the second nuts. Action's on Joe. Bonomo did check the turn to him. Cassidy bets 5,500. Cassidy's betting, hoping Bonomo would fold a nine or a busted flush draw that maybe paired up. A bossy little finger wag. <laughs> Bonomo calls. Two fives. Justin just called because there are very few hands that would lead out there and then call a raise that are worse than his hand. Wouldn't care about the money, but that little finger pointing thing wouldn't really fly with me. Not against you, but against the other guys. Justin Bonomo decides to raise to 1400 with pocket fours. Barry folds. Jason Mercier, queen eight suited. Jason's reaching for chips. Remember what I said about the cutoff being the new button. They raise to 4,700. And the fun begins. I wonder what Naughty would do if she had pocket kings right now. Uh, let me find pocket aces one time. Nope, queen 10. Never mind. She folds. <laughs> Bonomo doesn't fold. Even though Jason's down, he's still trying to take control of this pot. Got the two young guns battling it out. Jack, ace, jack on the flop. Check by Bonomo. Mercier checks. Six of spades on the turn. Bonomo still ahead with his pair. Justin checks. Jason has picked up a flush draw. See if he wants a semi bluff. He doesn't. Checks. Deuce of clubs on the river. Been checked all the way down. Bonomo checks. Justin does have the best hand. Jason looks like he's not giving up very easily. Fires 6,300. With queen high. Justin trying to sniff out a bluff. Maybe we should get him a Kleenex. He folds. <laughs> Last hand of the night. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My range is all over the place here. Ace deuce offsuit. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Calls. Joe happy to see an ace, though he shouldn't be. He once again finds himself dominated. Trey seven nine two diamonds. Check, Check by Cassidy. Check by Bonomo. Bonomo's in the lead. Jack of hearts on the turn. No help to either player. Cassidy checks. Bonomo checks. Six of diamonds on the river. Joe checks. Ace high. Me too. The eight plays. Ace eight high. I believe that's the winner. Oh, he's so sick. He's so Got sick. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Doyle calls. Lex is out. Bonomo's in. Justin has Barry dominated, and Barry and Doyle are blocking a bunch of each other's outs. Trey four king, two hearts on the flop. Bonomo checks top pair. Greenstein checks. WTF, someone checked Barry for a pulse. He just forgot to see bet. <laughs> there goes his perfect record. What am I going to do with this plaque and gift certificate to the Olive Garden? Doyle bets 3,600 with nothing. Doyle's taking a complete stab at this in position. Bonomo calls. Barry gets a last look and folds. 
The turn. The nine of spades. Doyle's picked up. No more outs. Bonomo checks again. Let's see if he continues to try to rep Justin's hand. As we can see by the odds, the only way Doyle will take this one down is with a big-time bluff. And he tries, betting 10,000. That bet is nearly pot-sized, or that bluff is, I should say. It's hard to think Doyle gained any ground with that card. Bonomo calls. Off to the river, the five of diamonds. Bonomo checks the better hand. Will Doyle fire the third barrel or raise the white flag? This is how you do it, Daniel. Just give up. Flag. And Bonomo wins. <laughs> See, the only thing, I, oh, you had nothing to. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought you had a pair. Queen Jack for Russ Harlow. To his credit, Russ has played very well during his time here on the big game. And raises to 1,200. Doyle's out. Lex re raises to 4,000. Lex is trying to isolate Russ again without much of a hand. Only one problem Bonomo's got a hand. He's got Lex's spades nutted and Russ's jack dominated. Get your mind out of the gutter. I didn't say anything, except that Justin calls and Barry folds. At least I got to see the flop. I'm trying to take his money, not yours. Yeah, yeah. Not sure that's all that comforting to Russ at the moment. Yeah. That's true. So action back on Russ. Russ is dominated. And folds. Lex's isolation plan has backfired. You want to check in the dark or anything? Nope. Nope. Now he's left out of position to the one guy he doesn't want to play with. 8-7 queen, two spades, both with a flush draw. Bonomo checks. Lex also has a gut shot, too. Lex is behind, and he's not even the favorite, but he is the only one drawing to the nuts. The nine of spades will make him a straight flush. Veldhaus bets 6,700. Can I see your chips? No. Justin's got the nut, flush draw, and one overcard to the board. Plus, he's ahead right now. Bonomo raises to 18 grand. Against most non-spade hands, Lex would have a ton of outs. As it stands, he's still got a bunch because his pairs are live. I'm all in. Veldhaus re-raises all in. Lex's line actually looks pretty strong here. All in. He three bet pre-flop, so that'll help but he's just taken a strong line against someone who's likely to think he's got nine outs to the nuts. If you add in Lex's reputation for being a maniac, Justin might even think he could be ahead. I call, I have a flush draw. Do you want to run out a few times? Oh. Bonomo calls. It's no good, right? No, it's no good. Uh, wow. It's up to you how many times you want to run it. The more the better wow. for me. Not flush draw versus gut shot, straight flush draw and pair draw. Sick. That's not good. some huge pots here. Um, eh, once. One time? Okay, yeah. one time. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Show some heart. Yeah. Wow, that's like the one hand. That's the one hand. Or ace, queen of spades, obviously. Well, it's better than ace, nine of spades, I guess, but. Lex thought he wanted to see any spade. Now it's actually just one. The nine of spades will still make him a straight flush. The turn. The ace of diamonds. Oh, that's not that's very good. Card. Terrible card for Lex. Kills all of his pair outs, only drawing to the gut shot now. Can we do it twice? Can I bite running it two times now? How much would it cost me? Well, I mean, twice. yeah. We can still do the river twice if you want. No. Psych! Did you like offer that just so you could say no when I said yes? No, I just. Is that the whole setup? I just. No, no, I meant, can, can I buy that we do the whole thing again or something? Okay. Something like that now. Doing the river twice is silly. It's just silly. <laughs> I want to just win it once. That's going to be epic, but. What am I, like 9%? Way better than that. 11%. Now you're 0%. Bonimo wins another monster. Nice hands. Nine five suited for Justin. Raised to fourteen hundred. Barry folds. Daniel's out. Big slick for the cannon. 
Russ is out of position, but way ahead of Justin's range. I just want Lex's money, not yours. Does that not work this time? You have to go home too, kid. You have to make it there. Justin won a six-figure pot against Lex last night. Here's the pot. So that's what they're talking about. Russ raises to 5,000. Justin knows he's probably not ahead in this spot, but he also knows Russ is the weak spot at the table, and he can probably use his position to outplay him on a lot of flops. Bonomo calls. The flop, Trey 7-6. Bonomo has a flush draw and a double gutter, but Russ still best. This is Russ's worst nightmare. He got called and then missed wide right. Russ bets 7,000. Russ's continuation bet is the right idea, but Bonomo has flopped huge. Even though Russ is ahead, Justin's got a ton of equity. I don't see him folding. He just calls. Loose cannon in action. The turn. The deuce of diamonds giving Bonomo a flush, and the cannon now has the nut flush draw. That's why this is such a great card for Justin. It makes his hand and gives Russ a big draw. Without knowing Justin made his flush, it's actually a good board for Russ to keep firing. We could see some serious fireworks. A lot of the time, ace-king will be good, and he could just semi-bluff with the ace of diamonds. He bets 15,000. Justin may be thinking of a value raise. Russ has taken a pretty strong line here and may fold to a raise, but Justin actually wants Russ to be in there with a naked ace of diamonds. All the money. Big pot. Bonomo raises the cannon all in. Justin has overbet the heck out of this with a little more than a pot size raise. I think it would be a pretty loose call for Russ to make with only ace high. He hasn't made a lot of loose calls in the over 150 hands we've seen him play. We've seen him be aggressive, but we haven't seen him call off a lot on big draws. Russ Harlow turned a profit last week. He decided to come back to try and increase it and perhaps win that NAPT passport. Now he's faced with the biggest decision of his poker life. Russ just might be thinking to himself that he should have taken his 16,000 and gone home last week. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go broke or not. He's not, especially not in this spot. In order to be able to make this call, Russ would have to think he's going to have the best hand most of the time. And in this situation, he's probably going to be second best most of the time. There goes Daniel. This is such a... Like, the most interesting thing about this spot is that everyone at the table wants him to fold. Because it's best right. for us if he's at like 80 or 90,000. If he calls and wins, yeah. then he's gonna play tight. Right. If he calls and loses, well, then he's gone. So that's bad for us. But see, the so other thing- want him to fold. Yeah, I want him to fold. But the other thing too is like, he's, when he's out of position against a good player, they're like, they're gonna do this to him a lot. So he shouldn't have probably bet 15,000 if he's not gonna call right away. He should have just checked then. Cause, what do you, you think know, he's gonna do? I think he's going to, I think, I don't think he should, but I think he's going to, I want him to fold, and I think that's what he's going to do. Sorry, guys. I just think in this hand, when you re-raise out of position like that, you put yourself in a bad spot. Right. Well, let's see what he does. Yeah. If that was better, maybe it would be a snap call. I don't know. After Russ deliberated for more than half a second, Justin wanted him to call. Four or five of diamonds. That's just gross, right? You're in the right diamond district. I'm definitely not ahead. Russ would do well to follow his instincts here. Russ lays it down. Nice hand. Did you have like a big pair and a diamond or something? What did it look like? That's what it felt like. Big pair and a diamond. No pair and a diamond. Fish from Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam is actually quite famous for its seafood. Lex straddles, so Bonomo first to go. King Jack. Raises to 2,600. Barry folds. Daniel, out. The cannon. Folds, so does Doyle. But Lex calls. I think that sigh might be a tell. Sick. So sick. And then first I give the speech that I'm gonna get through a show. Plus, then I get stacked. And then the first time I straddle, I'm gonna get Annihilated. 
Lex checks his flush draw. Justin's got the best hand. And fires 4,500. 4, Standard continuation bet. After all that chatter, Lex isn't going to fold his flush draw. Let's we'll see if he decides to play it fast. He does, raising to 12,000. Lex might have a hard time giving Justin credit for flop trips, especially when he has so many outs if he's wrong. In this spot, Lex has just polarized his hand to an ace or nothing, so Justin might figure he's either slightly ahead or drawing dead. Bonomo calls. Justin wants to reevaluate on the turn. Which is the jack of spades, second pair for Bonomo. Justin has jumped ahead, but Lex picked up a few more outs. 10 would give him a straight. Action on Lex. Makes it 23,600 to go. Lex is continuing to keep the pressure on. We'll have to see if Justin sticks around now that he's improved. Bonomo does stick around. He calls. We just showed you how active Lex has been at this table. Justin for sure knows this, and that might make him like his hand a little bit more in this spot. The river's the nine of clubs. Lex's only shot is the bluff at it. Let's see if he can fire the third barrel. He can't. He checks. Justin has the best hand, but he'll never get called by worse. Justin checks. Board. Bonomo shows the winner, adds more cash to the kitty. He now has almost 150 grand in profits. Go ahead, nine pairs. Where's that? Where's that up on the? If you go to the, the website. If you go to the website, it shows all the stats. What website? The big game. The big game website. Veldaus raises. I'll send you a link. Doyle's now expecting to get a piece of sausage in the mail. <laughs> Bonomo repops. Ace queen for Barry. Folds. Not too tight after a raise and a re-raise. For raises and re-raises. Build the pots. Oh, What's wrong with exactly. that? Exactly. Since when is Doyle Brunson afraid of little action? So you don't like pot limit holding, but you don't like building pots either. That's just weird. I'd like to bet. That's just weird. <laughs> I'd like to be able to bet it all anytime I want to. Lex calls. Easy, easy. Let me stack them first. Jekyll. Justin and Lex are building a pot together here. Jack nine king. That looks like a flop that I completely missed. <laughs> Lex tells the truth and checks. I swear 2,000 is enough. Justin's not sure if he can believe Lex or not. How's 10,000? Plenty. <laughs> Apparently so. Getting, you play too much with Phil Helmut. You're getting trappy now. Lex straddles, so action on Bonomo. Queen Jack suited. Raised to 2,600. Barry folds. Daniel. Eight deuce. Out. The cannon. Gets rid of his ace. Doyle. Ace queen. Calls. That's a pretty easy defend. Lex is out of here. Doyle has Justin dominated. The flop. Six tray king, two hearts. Doyle still best and checks. Doyle checks and flow. Justin had the pre-flop lead. Fires 5,000. Justin raised under the gun, then fired here. This would indicate strength. Let's see if Doyle still likes his ace queen. Likes it enough to call. Four hearts on the turn. Check. Doyle checks. Neither player holds a heart. Sorry, you say check? Check, check, check? Bonomo checks. Both players slow down on the turn. Four diamonds on the river. Doyle might like his hand a little bit better now that Justin checked the turn. Makes it 17,000 to go. Well, this is definitely a bluff. And it works as Bonomo folds. I disagree. Bonomo straddles. Yeah, there's only uh, four more. Greenstein. 27. Raises. Some after 27. the night's over. King five for Daniel. That's like one of the coolest rules, I think, or rules, uh, additions, is that you get the package if you're the qualifier that wins most. I think that, that induces action even though they're one day off. qualified? Can anybody qualify? Daniel calls. A loose call. Huh? What do you got to do? I'll come try to be the loose cannon. <laughs> That'd be great if we had Doyle on here as a loose cannon. Russ calls. 
Especially if you won a free roll and you made a video. <laughs> you made a video, I'm Noel Brunson. This video is like four seconds, just him pointing at himself. <laughs> video submissions are necessary to become a loose cannon. I'm sure Doyle's will be fantastic. I heard he already sent one to America's Funniest Home Videos as well. Meanwhile, we got a big pot brewing here. Russ just called with Ace King. Justin in the straddle with Ace King. We could see a lot of cash going in the middle. Justin's hand has an edge on the whole table. He re-raises to 13-7. This is going to look very strong, raising three other players. Barry folds. Daniel's out. Justin has made it very expensive for the amateur, but Russ is the one guy who isn't a huge dog to Justin, and he is in position. And he sloppily calls. Justin's got an edge because he's suited, and he knows Russ will be looking to protect his profit. The flop, seven-deuce tray. By three betting so big pre-flop, Justin has been able to make this pot uncomfortably large for Russ. So much so, it looks like the cannon might be getting sick. Justin's out of position, but he could use this to his advantage. Fires 15 grand. This would be a big chunk of Russ's profits. Terrible at this game. Why, because you don't have a set? This, <laughs> it's bad? Arlo folds. <laughs> Queen's no good. Oh, you think he folds the best hand again? No, I'm not saying that at all. I think I might have been able to play a better pre-flop. Re-raise him again. And... Daniel re-raises to 8,000. Let's see what we've got. That's tens. Well, we have the right implied odds to call with just about any pocket pair, because if we flop a set, we can get someone's whole stack. But if we just call this bet, we let Justin in the door behind us, and we're probably going to hate whatever the flop is if we don't hit a set. Plus, these jackals are going to come at us no matter what, and I don't want to be in the position to have to get lucky. I think we have a decent enough table image to make a small four bet here. Nope, we're just calling. Now Justin's got even better pot odds to call with us just calling Daniel's bet. Looks like we didn't just let him in the door and we invited him to come stay for the weekend. <laughs> he four bets to 25 grand and that gets a chuckle out of Daniel. This is a bit of a squeeze play, big time squeeze play I should say. But that doesn't mean Justin doesn't have a hand. Daniel folds his hand. Bonomo was the original raiser and this four bet might be meant to just isolate us because Daniel could be just messing around a lot. But he four bet us and he has to know that as the couch cannons, we're not just messing around calling three bets. So now we're in basically the same position as before, only now we're going to have to pay a lot more money to hate the flop. All right, so you've laid it out there. What should we do? I kind of wanted to fold to Daniel's three bet, and now I really want to fold to this four bet. It's entirely possible Justin's making a play, but with only two tens, I'm willing to let him get away with it. We're only going to love it if we hit a 10, and even if no overcards flop, we could be up against an overpair. Remember, Russ had tens a few hands ago and got away relatively unscathed when he went up against Lex's queens. Let's see what he, I mean we, are able to do. And we fire a call. I really don't like this call. Russ is risking a lot of his profits on this flop. Seven, ace, ace. So there are those overcards you talked about. The fact that two of them flop makes it less likely that Justin has one, but we still have to wonder what the heck he was raising and then four betting with pre-flop. The book says we're supposed to check to the last aggressor. We play it by the book. Right now we're just praying that Justin checks behind here and on every subsequent street, and hopefully 6th and 7th Street too, <laughs> if there would happen to be one. That's called holding our breath. Maybe Justin's just as afraid of the aces as we are. No, no. Bonomo bets 30,000. Even though the paired board makes this look relatively safe, I just don't think Justin's making this play with anything we can beat. Don't cap those cards again. We got to get out of here while we still have a few <laughs> chips left.
We fold. Well, let's see what Bonomo had. Okay, Cowboys. Clinkers. So Bonomo wins a nice big pot. We made the right lay down, but as far as I'm concerned, one street too late and $25,000 too short. And now Russ is almost even. He's at $103,000. You probably would have folded if he folded before the flop. It's possible. If by <laughs> possible you mean 0%, then yes. Pocket pair for Lex. Tens have been dicey tonight. Raised to 1400 Bonomo with aces. Justin just won a decent pot off Russ and the couch cannons a few hands ago with pocket kings. Re-raises. He, he picked up the king four all of a sudden. <laughs> Daniel folds. Back to Lex. Just calls. Justin Bonomo, the four to one favorite here. Six, five, five on the flop. This is a bad flop for Lex because it's gonna look pretty innocuous to him. He checks. Bonomo fires 5,000. Gonna be tough for Lex to fold this for just one bet. You're right, he calls. The turn, five of hearts, both get a full house. Bonomo a better one. Feldhaus checks. Justin has the third nuts, only behind the quads and six is full. Should be a safe bet for him. Bonomo bets 16,000. Justin's hoping Lex has some kind of pair, and Lex could get into some real trouble here if he gets frisky. Veldhaus calls. The river, king of spades. Lex checks. Justin's probably only worried about Lex maybe hitting a set of kings there, and even then, that's not too likely. So Justin's gonna wanna come up with the right size bet to get max value. We know Lex would probably pay off something here, but Justin's gotta put him on a hand first. It's possible that King may save Lex some money. It is a scare card. Bonomo bets 42,000. Justin's chosen to bet a little less than the pot. This might be too much since his line's been so strong the entire hand. Lex lays it down. Tough to lay down a full house, but he was crushed the whole way. And just like that, Lex is back in the red. And that's why king four is better than four three. Ace king for Veldhaus. Repops to 5,000. Lex has a good hand, but he's trying to isolate our amateur loose cannon with this big three bet. Bonomo, king queen, calls. Justin could be aware of that fact. Even though these two could very easily be up to shenanigans, Russ's hand is in bad shape here. And Russ makes the good fold. Lex and Justin have spent the whole week clashing with each other trying to fight over Russ's money. The flop, 8-10 jack, Lex with a gut shot, Bonomo open-ended straight draw. Russ would have flopped the best hand, but it would be a pretty scary board. Lex first to go. Fires 7,800. Lex has the best hand and he had the pre-flop lead. Justin might think he's got two overs to go with his straight draw, but one is dominated and the other makes Lex his straight. He also knows Lex would continue just about any hand here to keep the lead. Bonomo raises to 25,000 and that takes down the hand. We were all told, we were all promised these clueless loose cannons and then they come in better than oh, the players. Oh, come on, I took the bill better than you're giving me credit. Right here. <laughs> Where's the businessman? When I play with Nadia, she played better than two of the pros at the table. Doyle raises. Who were they? <laughs> oh, sorry. Folds. The ones that donated her money on the river. Justin's taking a shot at Joe Cassidy and Jason Mercier. And calls. They were the donators when Nadia set the mark as the leading loose cannon. 5-9 Jack, both get a piece. Top pair for Bonomo who checks. Playing in flow, checks to the original Razor. Doyle bets. It is so awesome to have 600 cash games on TV. My car payment thinks so. Beep beep. <laughs> Bonomo calls. Even 800 like, already yeah. gets kind of yeah, it's very annoying. Oh so, no, I can't do that, 800, okay. <laughs> Sit there. Eight of diamonds on the turn. Dark cloud. 
Justin has an up and down straight draw. Checks around. Four on the river. Justin knows he's in pretty good shape after Doyle checked the turn. Bonomo bet 6,500. Doyle's only got fourth pair. Folds, and Bonomo picks up the pot. Bonomo raised to 1,400. Barry. Barry's in? Okay. Uh, Daniel Folds. We haven't seen Barry play a hand since last season. Somehow he's still up over 150 grand. Maybe there's a method to his tightness. 10 6 8, two clubs on the flop. Barry still best, plus he has a flush draw. Bonomo has a gut shot. Looks like Justin's taking a page from Barry's book. That's 3,500. Which is available on Amazon, by the way. You're welcome, Bear. Greenstein calls. In this case, Barry wouldn't mind an ace on the turn. It's not. It's a seven, completing Justin straight. He checks. Now he's decided to slow down. He's hoping that Barry will do his Barry thing. Barry knows any hand with a nine just got there, and that's a decent portion of Justin's range. Barry checks. Well, there's a nine, and now there's a straight on board, which means as long as nobody folds, we'll see a chop. All Justin's value just sailed away on that river. Bonomo okay. checks, Greenstein checks, and we're going to chop it up, boys. Okay. Tough river card for Bonomo. Oh, you see, you already had one. Daniel with the unintentional needle. Outstanding check. And Doyle with the intentional one. I told him that was an outstanding check. <laughs> 26 hands remaining to turn a profit. Ace 10 raises to 1100. Doyle folds. Lex is out. Ace King for Bonomo. Bonomo has Russ dominated. Repops to 3500. Barry's out. Daniel folds. Even though Russ may read this as an isolation raise, which it was, he needs to start being the last aggressor because he can't afford to just call miss fold every hand. The cannon calls. King six, eight, two diamonds, top pair for Bonomo. Russ has made the call and there's the miss. And there's the check. Bonomo fires 5,000. I predicted that he would call miss fold, so what would be next, Chris? Well, let's see, he called, he missed. I'm gonna go with C, fold. At this point, hopefully Russ does complete the trifecta and fold. He's drawing very slim. Nope, he's over the top to 13,000. This is a bad time to make a move, and that's a pretty weak 2.5x raise. Justin's well aware that as more time goes by, the more desperate Russ will get and have to make moves like this. Justin's not folding, so he's either going to call or raise here. How about a re-raise to 30,500? Justin's just re-raised and didn't shove because he wants Russ to come back over the top. Nope, he folds. Justin tried to show Russ a shortcut on the long road to ruin, but Russ is sticking around. Bonomo having the time of his life while time is running out for the cannon. Bonomo calls, very folds. Unless I flop something, then I'll probably be quiet. But... Doyle's trying to create himself a bit of a hot streak. The flop, Trey 10 king, two diamonds. Bonomo checks middle pair. Doyle looking at continuing. He does, betting 2,500. Bonomo quickly calls. The turn, four of diamonds. Justin's picked up the nut flush draw. And checks. Now that Doyle's made a pair, he may stop bluffing. He slows down. Nine of diamonds on the river makes the nut flush for Bonomo. This is a pretty ob value bet. Bonomo fires 6,000. Doyle's got a pair of fours on a four card flush board. Pops him to 20 grand. It's obviously a stone bluff and it might have worked had Justin not had the ace. But since Justin's only losing to a straight flush, this is pretty much a slam dunk value raise for him. Even though it's probably pointless. Bonomo's been crushing the big game this week. Could be why Doyle's taking a shot at him here. 
At the beginning of this hand, Bonomo had turned a profit of nearly $215,000. And he's going to be adding to it here. He re-raises to 52 grand. And Doyle folds. Bonomo takes down a decent sized pot and oh, he's mugging for the cameras as well. 14 hands left this week and it sounds like the players are far from done. We can take this game to Bellagio, keep on playing. Oh yeah. Come on guys, I gotta get home. Ace King for Bonomo. Raises to 1400. Barry folds. Queen 10 suited for Daniel. A call here would be pretty standard. And there it is. 874. Daniel checks. Bonomo checks. Ace of clubs gives Bonomo top pair. Daniel also picks up a flush draw, so we should see some action with this card. Daniel fires 2,500. Daniel's building himself a pot in case the club hits. Justin's got top pair, top kicker, and the best hand. And calls. Doesn't want to raise and chase away his client. The river. Deuce of spades. Daniel missed. And checks. This is a pretty easy value bet. Bonomo makes one, betting 6,500. Daniel's not folding. He's cutting out a raise, but it's looking more like a donation to me. Raises to 22.5. Justin's got top pair, and there's nothing really strong enough out there for Daniel to rep with a check raise, except for maybe a set. Bonomo calls. Surprise, surprise, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and wins another 54 grand in that pot. That's my 58th consecutive bluff that's been called in a row. <laughs> You're really good at it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it, and then I'm like, oh, 65, yeah, I guess I can raise him. <laughs> Our loose cannon, Russ Harlow from Connecticut has been knocked out and replaced by that man, Alan Berry, who folds. Queen Jack for Doyle Brunson. He folds. Six tray suited. That's been a popular hand this week. Lex raises. Doyle played that hand three times this week. He lost huge with it twice. Bonomo repopped. Negrano, king, queen in the big blind. Bonomo's been using his position over Lex all week, and somehow he's mostly been right. Daniel knows that this hand could very well be ahead of the ranges of these two knuckleheads. <laughs> Daniel calls. Lex still facing Justin's re-raise. And calls. No one can get away from 6-3 suited this week. Three to the flop. I check. Daniel checks in the dark. Eight, ace, four, two spades. All right. Lex checks. Bonomo's wondering if a C-bet in position will take this down. He does have second pair. Bonomo bets 7,500. Daniel folds. So is Lex. At your hand. 6-3. Was it suited? Of course it was suited. What is he, crazy? <laughs> and Bonomo strikes a familiar pose. Our top five winners on the show this season are led by young gun Justin Bonomo, who raked in about 475 grand in just two appearances. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. You know what's really remarkable? Justin, in just two appearances on the big game, has made nearly half a million dollars. Yeah, we're, we're real happy for him. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Good Justin. job. I agree. It was a good job. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.